I got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is civil. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the you're... taking? Do you know what you took from me? I'm sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened, you have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance. But I've got nothing left. <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? Clementine. The girl misses her parents. I'm not them. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her. So bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far, I... Found them, a day later, in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. I did what I had to. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. That's not the whole story. The whole story?
How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lead, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Look, I was bitten. You were what? Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Okay, then. I'm sorry again for your family. Me too. I'm glad this didn't have to get violent. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Oh. 
Savannah. You might want to pinch your nose. Sure. There. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Be dead. Please, no. Lee, I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. I know. They didn't get to you, right? No. We got away. They're dead for sure. As fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. 
I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three! <laughs> <sighs> There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. There's a chair over there. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach out to the log. be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. There are handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. Oh. 
Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. But what? Why? No matter what happens, I'm safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. You only have to deal with him. He's trapped over there. If you're careful, you can get what you need from him. The keys. And then the gun. The keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? Get the gun, Clem. Always the gun. Get him! Get him! Watch out! My turn, honey. If I do, it won't be good. No, you can't. You can't do that. Trust me, Clem. I don't want to. I'm trying. I'm trying. My parents. It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now, you? Please. Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. Clem, I was standing over Duck holding that gun. It was so hard. Sorry, you're in that position now. I'd give anything for you not to be. But you just have to point it at me. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I... I can. Find Omid and Krista. Probably looking for us right now. Stay on high ground. Don't go too far. You'll find them. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also... What? What is it? No, don't worry. All right. I'll miss you. Me too.